The Philippine capital of Manila is still recovering from flood damage caused by Tropical Storm Katsana last week. Barangay Tatalan in the Quezon City area of Manila was also hit by a fire. In the aftermath of the double disaster, to help the residents get rid of piled-up refuse, city volunteers set up a welfare-to-work program where the residents can clean up while get paid. Three days later, the streets of Tatala are back to their original state again. Meanwhile, to accelerate the cleanup effort in the hard-hit Nangan area of Marikina City, Siji increased the number of participants in its welfare-to-work program to 150 people. The scheme helps speed up the recovery progress and boost the residents' confidence. Meanwhile, Dr. Lu Weiding, who missed out on the earlier Tima Free Clinic in the area, decided to make house calls with several Tima volunteers. <laughs> To expedite the cleanup effort in the hard-hit Barangay Nanka in Marikina City, Philippines, Siji has increased its adaptation of welfare-to-work program to 150. 25 people are assigned to each alley. Some take on shoveling and some on the carts. However, a cart full of mud is quite heavy, even for several men. The mud must be removed first or it will clog up the drain. However, the water and earth mixture is very heavy. Cleaning this takes a lot of work. It's been more than 10 days since Typhoon Katsana struck, and many hard-hit areas in Metro Manila are still inundated in mud and refuse despite continuous cleanup efforts. The infusion of new workers has increased the residents' morale to continue battling the adversity they face. I am cleaning this area here first, then I will take care of my home. Working together to clean up the area makes everyone happy and also helps out our neighbors. We are helping other people too. We can clean up while making some money and also tidy up my own home. Firmly believing in helping others also helps oneself. Siji volunteers also join the cleaning effort. We're empathetic to their ordeal. We didn't just leave after setting up the welfare to work program. We also joined them to let them know we really do care. Standing together with flood victims, Team of Philippines Vice Convener, Dr. Liu Wei Ding, who missed out on the earlier free clinic, decided to make house calls in the area. It's an opportunity for us to contribute ourselves. It's not us doing good deeds. It's an opportunity to serve. So we must cherish it and participate. Cherishing each opportunity to serve those in need, Siji volunteers along with team of volunteers do their best to heal the disaster victims' mind and body. Okay. Oh. Appear. Okay. <laughs>